Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about how to multiply rational expressions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, simplify, and we have two rational expressions being multiplied, 2x over x squared minus 7x plus 12, and x squared minus 9 over 6x squared. The first thing I like to do here is see if I can, well, simplify or f really factor, actually, each part here. There's like four parts. First part here, 2x, can't really factor that, so I'm going to leave that b. But the denominator, I can factor that. I have to ask myself the question, what two numbers multiply to be a 12, the c value, and add to be a negative 7? All right, multiply by 12, add to be a negative 7, and I'm thinking a x minus 3 and an x minus 4. Negative 3 times negative 4 gives me a positive 12, but if we add them together, we get a negative 7. The next one over here, we have x squared minus a 9. Can I factor that? Well, if you want to use the same method I have here, well, multiplies to be a negative 9, okay, but adds to b, there's no b value, so 0. So what two numbers multiply to be a negative 9 and add to be 0, and that's a positive 3 and a negative 3. x plus 3 and an x minus a 3. The denominator, I can't really simplify anymore, 6x squared. All right, now with multiplication here, we can multiply across the numerators and across the denominators, just like any other fraction. So I'm going to do that and kind of reorder, line some things up here. 2x, keep first, 2x here, times, we have a, I'm going to put an x minus 3 next, and then an x plus 3 afterwards. Kind of flip, the, flip them around on the numerator here. Denominator, I'm going to put the 6x squared first, all right, kind of lining it up with the 2x, times, let's do the x minus 3 next, and an x minus a 4 after that. And this is where the beauty comes in. What can we cancel out? x minus 3 and x minus 3 cancel out in the numerator and denominator. Here, I have a 2 and a 6 cancels out. A 2 becomes a 1 and 6 becomes a 3, right? 2 6 is a 1 3rd. x over x squared, I can cancel out this top x and get rid of this squared and keep the bottom single x. After that, I don't really see anything else that I can cancel out. So what do we have left? Put it right here. Well, I have an x plus 3 times a 1, or just x plus 3, left in the numerator. In the denominator, I have a 3 here, an x left over, 3x, times an x minus 4. And there we have it. There's nothing else I really can do to simplify this, and so after all that work, our final answer is an x plus 3 over a 3x times an x minus 4. I hope you learned something here on how to multiply rational expressions, and if you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.